happening at that time over those lines. So this is the smart device, or we can say in our terms, it's a uh, it plays the managerial role in case of sending the communication over the network. So this is the router. Another two devices are the bridges and gateways. So bridges and gateways are also uh, used to connect to networks. To connect the networks, these devices are used bridges and gateways. But what is the difference between the bridges and gateways? Bridges Okay, so if the two networks are similar, then bridges are enough. But suppose there are two dissimilar networks, then we will need this device, this is the gateway. So gateway will be detected, otherwise the functionality is same. To connect two or more networks, these devices are needed. Another thing is repeater. What is repeater? So what happens when we send signals over the network? So when we send signals over the network, the signal uh, gets degraded or is transmission over the network. So when the signal gets degraded, there needs some device to again boost up them. So this is the device, repeater. Repeater repeats the signals or we can say make strong the signal or we can say boost up the signals so that they can be communicated or they can be sent over the transmission line again. So at some intervals over the transmission line or over the network transmission line we can say that over the some distance we will put some repeaters to boost up the signals to avoid the degradation of those signals. This example shows the repeater which is used to boost up the signals of some mobile device into your house. So repeater is joined and some inside antenna is also applied there so that the signal of mobile phone or we can say uh, we may have some uh, we may have some time the problem of uh, less network in our home or in our offices. So to solve that problem we can have such devices which will repeat the signals and boost up the signals and it will send the signals to outside antenna and from outside antenna those signals can be sent over the transmission lines given by the network operator. In this way the repeaters are used by network operator also, not only by us but network operator also uses this type of repeaters. These are the images of various devices, bridges, gateway routers. This is the external model. First of all, we have seen the internal. This is the external model. This is the internal model. There are two ports in this internal model. First is for the RJ45, which is having eight wires in that gap, in that one wire. So eight wires are there. And uh, the another part is for simple telecommunication line, which is having only four wires. So one is for the input and another is for the output. The signals will be uh, make, uh, will be given to this device, and this device will modulate or demodulate the signals and will give back those signals to be transmitted over the telecommunication line. Now transmission may be of two types, serial transmission and uh, parallel transmission. So parallel transmission means what? Serial transmission will work. In case of serial transmission, the data will be transmitted serially one by one. So there will be some less speed as compared to the parallel transmission because in case of the parallel transmission, the data will be sent parallelly. So it will give some more speed. But this type of transmission is costlier also because you will need some more wires. So parallel transmission is used when the distance is less. But when the distance is very large, then there will be needed the serial transmission. This 
This is a diagram showing the LAN component. The peripheral devices, computers, hub, switch, all are there. This is the wireless LAN card. Now the seven layer model, OSI model it is called. So when we transmit some data over the network, how actually it is get transmitted? So layer by layer presentation which is designed by International Standard Organization. So these are called the OSI layers. Seven layers are there, application, presentation, station, transport, network, data link and physical. And to remember these layers, we may use some mnemonic. Like, all people seem to need data processing. This is one mnemonic. There are certain other mnemonics also. So when, suppose we send some message to some other computer over the network, then that message will pass through these stages or these layers according to International Standard Organization. So, First layer is the application layer, that means what? So this layer is directly in contact with the user of the computer. Application layer. Suppose we are sending some email, then the screen of some internet, uh, Gmail or you can say Yahoo etc. which is uh, in front of us will be the application layer. So that will be the application which we are using to transmit our message, that is called the application layer. Second one is the presentation layer. Presentation layer means how your data will be presented to some other device. The format of that data will be covered by this layer, presentation layer. It will make the presentation of your data to some other device in some specific way. Then after the session layer, because each time we send some data over the network to some other device, then there will be some session. After that transmission of data, the session will be over and the another session may be initiated to transmit some other data. So, it will be handled by the session layer. Then after the transport and network layer. Sometimes these layers may be by mistake interchanging. So, the meaning of all these layers must be remembered. What is transport layer? So, network layer actually makes the transportation. So if we go by the words, then the work of transportation will be handled by the network layer. So actual data transmission will be handled by the network layer. The transport layer will do the packaging of those data. That means transport layer will uh, gather the data from the computer to be transmitted over the network line and uh, breaks that data into various packets and those packets will again be uh, reassembled at the other end by the way of this transport layer. So the transport layer will only break your data for the transportation and the actual transportation will be handled by the network layer over the network line. Data link layer. But before looking into the data link layer, we will see the physical layer. Physical layer means what? It's an actual layer. It is physical layer, <coughs> data will be physically over the cables or hubs etc. will be transmitted to some other device on the network. So physically which are the mediums used to transmit your data will be covered by this layer physical layer. Now at the last point we will see the meaning of data link layer. Data link layer is the link between the network and physical layer. So it is called the data link layer. It links the network with the physical cables etc. So network means network means the a virtual concept which may be uh, through the cable lines or which may also use some radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves but this is the layer which links the network layer and physical layer so it is called the data link layer. It's a linking layer between these two layers. So remember this all people seem to need data processing. These are the seven OSI layers. Now we will compare the OSI model with the internet model.